Hey everybody, Brad Jost here, host of the Jurassic Park podcast. Today I have a nice little video for you showcasing this awesome piece of work here that was so uh, generously sent my way from Yaroslav Kosmina. You guys probably know him from the online uh, Jurassic Park community. There are so many talented people in this community, so many artists that just create like nonstop amazing artwork, which uh, one of which you can see right here. He has this amazing uh, Lost World print uh, for the 20th anniversary featuring basically any and all sequences from the movie. It is so, so detailed. Um, I want to give you guys some information about his work, where you can find it, showcase this awesome piece of art because, like I said, he is such a great artist. I want to make sure that uh, the people over here on YouTube know who he is and see his work because, you know, sometimes the social medias don't really cross over. So just in case you haven't seen his work before, I want to showcase it here firsthand for you all because it really deserves it. So while we're checking out the art right here, uh, I want you guys to go check out all of his other stuff. Make sure to head to his website, yaroslavkosmina.art, and uh, his Twitter handle is at jaros428. He has a new art station, and also over on Facebook, he is jkart. You can find all of those links in the uh, comments or the, uh, the, the um, you know, what is it called? The thing? What's it? That little, that little bar, that little thing, you know, the notes, the comments, not the, you know, whatever. It's in that section. Go look at it below. Click those links. Find it there while I'm discussing all this. Um, so let's take a deep look into this awesome piece of art. I have it up here on the screen for you so you can uh, look at it very detailed. So why don't we dive right into this? I want to get into this poster because it is so good. Um, it showcases everything about the Lost World that there really is to love. The Lost World, for me, is is very close, if not number one. It could be number two or number one any day of the week. This movie is just so dear to my heart. I love every aspect of it. And starting over here on the left-hand side of the picture, um, we see a very uh, angry or disgruntled-looking Roland Tembo. That's just the demeanor he always has, right? He's got his gun there, and uh, underneath him is the incredible, um, you know, RV camper that they brought to the island with the Mercedes right next to it. Uh, actually, I think you can see, I think you can see two Mercedes right there. And maybe is that Eddie outside of the RV? That is so cool. Um, yeah, this thing is showcasing everything. I just can't believe it. You have the big T-Rex, looks like the buck right um, kind of next to Roland, which is nice because he needed to hunt down that buck only. And then you have uh, the, geez, this is crazy. The more I look at it, the more details I find. You have the, even the redwood trees next to the Rex in between both Rexes there. You do see the, uh, the uh, just the widespread landscape of the uh, Lost World of Isla Sorna. You actually do see like the Hawaiian mountains in the background. Um, you do here on the bottom have the Stegosaurus, um, looks spot on. Um, then you have Kelly Malcolm, Ian Malcolm, Sarah Harding, uh, Nick Van Owen carrying the baby T-Rex. And then, oh man, underneath them, there's actually a bunch of compies there. That is super cool. I really, really like that. Moving over a little bit, we actually have the InGen Jeep there. One of the most iconic looking vehicles in this saga. You know, this, I think this, this franchise is really, um, you know, built upon amazing vehicles. You know, they don't get enough credit for the iconography that they create with the vehicles in this uh, franchise, whether it's the Ford Explorers, the old Jeeps, the Camper, the Gyrosphere. Um, even the simple things like the Mercedes or this Jeep, uh, the InGen Jeep, which is super like decked out with, you know, barricades and all kinds of like military looking stuff all over it. It's fantastic. The netting around it. And uh, you do see Ludlow up there in the back, kind of uh, obscured by the tree in front of him. Even behind him, you get the uh, a bunch of helicopters rolling in with all the engine equipment. So, oh my God, this is spanning 
so much of the movie. This is crazy. You have another compi over here. There's also the game trail sequence, which if you're gonna create art with basically everything from the Lost World on there, you need to keep, include the uh, game trail. So you do have like, it looks like there's the, um, oh, I don't know. It looks like there could be like the Hummer in the background or at least some other vehicle. And I'm trying to get a good glimpse because there's a bunch of dinosaurs here. Uh, Parasaurolophus right here that we can see. Uh, maybe Carter right there on the motorcycle. Uh, the high hide is... <laughs> I'm just blown away. I'm just discovering all these details because I've looked at it, obviously, but like taking it all in and kind of analyzing it with you guys is, is part of the fun here. You actually see like just a sliver of the high hide up like kind of in that tree. That is so cool. Just barely in the uh, frame here. Um, and then you have a giant leg of a dinosaur, um, basically like how they were kind of going in and out of the legs there. You have a Pachycephalosaurus right here up front. That dinosaur um, became so iconic from that movie for me. I, I think um, he represents it like perfectly in this. It kind of reminds me of the toys. It reminds me of the one in the film. It looks so good. And that uh, that Parasaurolophus too looks like identical with the toys. Um, and then moving over here like to the final I will say final sequence, but there's actually still so much going on over here. You do have, let's see, let's take a deep look. Uh, I, this is this is a darker section, um, which makes sense because the end of the movie is much darker. But you have the long grass, all the people like kind of running through the long grass and the like iconic look of the raptors just like staring towards them about to like pounce. Oh my God, that is incredible. You know, just looking at this art brings back so many awesome feelings for the Lost World. Uh, moving up from there, you have the, um, uh, what do you call it? The uh, research center or whatever it is, the facility there in the compound, um, the engine facility. It's all broken down. You see, it looks like raptors. Is there one? Yeah, there looks like there's like one raptor on top of it. Um, that, that facility is so iconic, and I think uh, he brought it to life perfectly here. You have a helicopter lifting off from that area, and then it dives into the, uh, the San Diego sequence over here as well. So you can see San Diego in the distance there, underneath the dinosaur, but of, of course over the uh, facility there. This is so good. This is fantastic. Everything about like the tone of that San Diego area and right above the facility really captures like the end of that movie so perfectly. I love this. So please click those links below uh, so you can see all the amazing stuff that he produces. Yaroslavkosmina.art is his website. You can find him on Facebook, JK Art. He has an art station showcasing all of his work as well. And of course, of course, over on Twitter at Jaros428. You can check out all of his stuff, his portfolio, all the uh, uh, most recent art that he's created over there on all of his uh, platforms and support him because he creates some really, really great stuff. Commission some stuff. Do what you got to do to support this guy. I love his work. I think you guys will like it too. Thank you so much for checking out this uh, video here. Make sure to go to JurassicParkPodcast.com to find all of our articles, our episodes, um, cool stuff like this. We've actually been showcasing a lot of cool articles over there. Tom Fishenden has been writing some. I've been writing some. It's uh, It's been all over the place. Also go to Twitter at Jurassic Park Pod. On Instagram, at Jurassic Park Podcast. Same thing over on Facebook. Make sure to go to our iTunes, Google Play, and Spotify sections. Download the Jurassic Park Podcast. Leave us a review specifically over on iTunes. That would really, really help us out. Here on YouTube, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, comment below. Let us know what you think. I want to know what you think specifically about this piece of art. Um, what is it that you like most about it? Because for me, I actually think I like the, um, like the, the end sequence the most with the, with the long grass, the facility and San Diego there. I think I like that the most. Let, let us know in the comments below what you think, because I want to, I want to compare notes. I think we should, but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video and enjoy.